This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the new features in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Recently, Adobe updated Premiere Pro to version 22, where one of the new features is very mysterious. It's a hidden keyboard shortcut that can save you time if only you can find it. It's called Reselecting Trim Points. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you what it does, where it is, and how to turn it on. What this does is this is an unassigned keyboard shortcut. It lives in the keyboard shortcuts panel, but isn't in a menu and doesn't have a key assigned to it. That will reselect selected edit points if they're accidentally deselected. That sounds way too weird to make even any sense. So let me show you how this works. Here I have a nice sequence and rather than say I want to do a roll trim here, we can easily do that. But maybe what I want to do is I want to adjust all these outs at the same time. Maybe I want to do a ripple trim. So I'm going to select the ripple trim tool. It works the same with the rolling edit, the roll trim or the ripple, but we'll just select ripple. And I'm going to draw a rectangle that touches each of these points. That's a really fast way to select edit points across multiple tracks. I could do the same thing with in points up here if I wanted to do that. We're going to go for the drama and we'll select the out point. If I move to the move tool, the letter V is the shortcut and click, all those selected edit points are deselected. The problem is I would like to get them back. Now, if all I'm doing is drawing a rectangle, it's easy to just simply redraw a rectangle. But you know, by holding various modifier keys down, I can select the in of one clip, the out of another clip, and the maybe uh, the in of a third clip, and then do a roll trim on the... F it just I can get really complex. And if I deselect it, I've wasted all that time. Well, the one th word that we hate to hear is waste time. So... How do I fix that? Watch this. I'm going to select the ripple tool. I'm going to select my edit points, go to the move tool and deselect. And look at that. They just came back with a keyboard shortcut. They're deselected and they're back again, deselected and back. The problem is that keyboard shortcut exists in my system, but not yours. How do we set it? We go up to Premiere Pro and go up to Keyboard Shortcuts. Remember on Windows, you have to go to the Edit menu. And inside Keyboard Shortcuts, I'm going to search for Restore Trim. And there it is, the Restore Trim Keyboard Shortcut to which I've assigned Control F1 will actually look like this to you. There's no shortcut assigned to it. To create a shortcut, you just simply click here. I'm going to assign Control F1. You can assign whatever you want. Press the Enter key to save it. And now, whenever, I'll do it with a roll trim just to prove that I can. I'll just select some edit points. Select the Move tool. Deselect them. Control F1. And those edit points are reselected. <laughs> Adobe could not have made it harder to find. But when you find it, it can save you time. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering the new features in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 324. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.